trust phase with challengers in fintech, uh, but it's unclear how much that's uh, had an impact. Yeah, that's a great call, Mike. Things like Fed now, the, the idea that you could move money in a cheaper, faster way throughout the banks and kind of inter getting rid of the, uh, the need for an intermediary like Visa. You've had a lot of those competitive challenges, but also things like pricing pressure. There is that perennial conversation about fees and what the credit card networks are charging here. Also, regulatory discussion. Visa had a major acquisition of Plaid a few years ago that uh, they had to call off because of DOJ pressure. So they're a little bit hamstrung when it comes to, to growth through M&A at this point. And that at least has been the consensus out there on Wall Street. Uh, so we'll see. But absolutely more competition, more pricing pressure. And then you've got the macro environment, too, that weighs on payment volume. Yeah, you wonder if uh, if they're even sorry they weren't allowed to buy plan at those valuations. But we'll see <laughs> uh, how it goes, Kate. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. About 30 seconds till the close. We're going to be going out with about a three-quarter percent gain in the S&P 500. Right at the 4250 area where we backed off from in the morning. NASDAQ slightly outperformed. We have oil prices in retreat down a couple of percent today as bond yields have quieted down for another day. We have a 10-year down. 4.83%. As we get ready for all those mega cap growth stock earnings, that's going to do it for closing bell. We'll send you into overtime for Morgan Brennan and Doc Ford. From CNBC's Technology the Executive Council Summit in New York. And I'm Morgan Brennan. That is the scorecard on Wall Street, but winners stay late. I'm John Ford, coming to you from CNBC's Technology Executive Council Summit in New York. And I'm Morgan Brennan at CNBC headquarters. It's a make or break hour for tech as Microsoft, Alphabet, Texas Instruments, and Snap get ready to report quarterly results in just a few moments. We will have live reaction and analysis of those names, plus Visa and more. And a first on CNBC interview with Qualcomm CEO Cristiano Amon. He's going to discuss the new chips the company announced this hour, including, hey, an ARM chip for PCs. Remember the market action because of NVIDIA headlines yesterday. Now, as we await the earnings, let's bring in Vital Knowledge founder Adam Crisofulli. Adam, I'm specifically wondering about the impact potentially of these results tonight on overall trading tomorrow given you know the, the positive uh close for the indices and not only the, the numbers themselves but how much the reaction after hours to these results might tell us about where investor sentiment is yeah, so just from a, a mechanical point of view, obviously these companies are going to be crucial to both they dominate the indices, so um, you know, we're going to be watching them very closely. The first week and a half of the C3 earnings season was a little bit underwhelming. There were a number of red flags. The results that came out this morning and last night, um, they did look a little bit better. So you had uh, a number of large cap out hey, Adam? today. Adam? Yep. Got to interrupt you here. Microsoft's uh, numbers are out. The stock is popping after hours. Let's go to Steve Kovac with the numbers, Steve. Yeah, John, it's popping because of beats on the top and the bottom line. Solid beats at that. Let's go over EPS. $2.99 versus the 265 Street was looking for. Revenue is also a nice beat there. $56.52 billion versus the $54.49 billion the Street was looking for. Digging through the report now, John, get, get you some Azure numbers and other stuff to look at in a bit. Well, uh, Adam, I, I was just in the process of asking you about this. We have the stock, at least on this initial uh, uh, headline, moving higher by more than 5%. How much is this going to matter, once again, for the markets potentially tomorrow? I think it's crucial. So, I, like I was saying, the first week and a half of earnings season was underwhelming. The numbers that we got this morning um, were a lot better. And so, I think the bar now has been knocked lower because of how the season started off. And if the results continue as they did this morning, and Microsoft is a good example so far, obviously we have to wait for the conference call get guidance later tonight. Uh, but this is certainly going to be encouraging for the broader take. And just mechanically, these names dominate the indices. So however they trade uh, will have uh, you know, an enormous impact on the broader s and and NASDAQ. Okay. We've got earnings from Texas Instruments as well. Christina Parts and Evelis has those for us. Christina. 
Roger, you were seeing a mixed report of revenues coming in less than anticipated at $4.53 billion on EPS of $1.85. That was a beat. The street was anticipating $1.82. But the weakness is really coming from the Q4 outlook, which came in lower the range for EPS.